What's up YouTube? In today's video we will be taking a look at Prime OS, which is basically a desktop optimized version of Android for laptops and desktops. Like I've watched a few videos from from all over YouTube about this and I wanted to go get onto the idea. Depending on your PC, it should be easy to install. Like, it was actually easy to install on this, and it would refuse Linux distros usually. Which, there's just some disadvantages depending on your hardware. Like, everything except Bluetooth works out of the box on this laptop. And other devices usually work. I've already tested USBs, those read fine. And my Microsoft mouse works fine on it too. And there's one issue where I didn't install Grub because it would freeze up, so... I have to keep spamming F12 at startup to get it to open the um, F12 boot menu, so then I can boot to it. But every otherwise everything is good, so now we will be taking a look. So you obviously have access to the Google Play Store, which is where you would get all your apps from, just like I did on this system. I got all the apps on this system from here so you'll be able to use almost anything some apps may not work like i've already ran into a few that a few that don't work because they don't support arm i mean not arm they don't support x86 and you sh um some web browsers don't work either so you'll be stuck with chrome so we'll just use a few of the apps that I have on here. Well, first of all, we'll get into technical details. Okay, where's screenshots? So this is what my Geekbench score was. And the specs of the system I will pull up right away. So where's that phone information app that I installed earlier? So we're so it's based on Android 7.1.2n, and it has an out of date security patch, unfortunately, but it still works well. So what we're using is a Intel Celeron, I think N3350 or Apollo Lake Celeron, with two cores with a frequency from 800 megahertz to 2.4 gigahertz. And Intel HD Graphics 500, which is actually overkill for Android, in my opinion. <laughs> and 4 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM. I don't know how many megahertz it is. And 64 gigabytes of storage, and I have 4,000 something milliamp hour battery. So this thing is basically just kind of an overkill Android tablet. Like, I mean, the Geekbench score is actually higher than my own smartphone that I am recording with right now. Well, okay, enough talking. We gotta get to actually doing stuff. So, what should we do first? Oh, why am I th even thinking? But some apps don't work. Like, we'll try some games, like take a look at Minecraft. Sometimes it glitches or refuses to open, but works otherwise like i mean mobile gaming is a dream on this thing like i mean this thing basically competes with lower end ipads like my 6th gen ipad which i personally think this is better than that like i mean all the standard keyboard options all the standard keyboard options work i am using my mouse and wasd okay we're i'm supposed to hold okay is the chat open oh yep it does Okay, yeah, so that works. Okay, yeah, Minecraft is definitely playable on here. 
Like, I mean, this thing probably wouldn't even run Minecraft with Windows, but it runs it perfectly with Android. Like, Android is just a better OS for cheaper laptops. Like, I mean, if you're if you want an Android laptop, you can go with something as trash as the HP Stream if you wanted to. And I can't get GTA San Andreas to work. It just doesn't work that well. We'll play Sonic the Hedgehog quickly. Because why not? And the key shortcuts work just fine on this. Touch the start, I clearly clicked. <laughs> Mod it is and WASD works just fine on this too. Here I'll try a few mobile games, do some internet based stuff after this. This should be around maybe a 15 minute video, I'm assuming. Like, see, I'm using clicking and I'm using WASD, it works just fine. Ow. Just see if I can complete this level as a part of this video. <laughs> oh, yeah, and not, I've never went into emulation, but emulation is something you can. How do I. Okay, I have to start clicking this now, but usually, um, emulation is good as I've seen in other videos. People do use emulators on Android PCs and it works really well. Okay, there. We're done there now, we should start doing some other stuff. Like, why not radio streaming? I always try that, even though pretty much any device, including the Blackberry from the last video, can do that. I just can't log into Apple Music, so I can't just play regular songs that I choose. Yeah, of course that's gonna work fine. So... And we'll take a look at Google Chrome. It's the only browser you can use. And uh, you can't find out how to set the home page either. You may accidentally download files from a PC because then that's for a PC. Because for some reason the user agent string will come up as... Will come up as a Windows 7 64-bit. They probably did that to optimize the browser for desktop, I guess. Well, that's probably why it is programmed to be Windows 7. Like, see, it says Windows NT 6.1, which would be Windows 7. And for some reason, it's on Chrome 100, even though Chrome 100 doesn't exist. And it had no, and this OS has no impact on my internet speed whatsoever. It's a, actually, it improved. It actually gets a higher top internet speed than it did with Windows. So you can just tell how bloated Windows is compared to mobile operating systems. And mobile operating systems I think are more suitable for systems like this. Like that's what I think. They're more suited for cheaper PCs. I guess that's why Chrome OS is on, well, Chromebooks that are priced really cheap. Because it's supposed to be light and it's mostly cloud based. But yeah, I mean, with the better internet speed, everything loads almost instantly. Except my website because it's. Because it's. Uh, this is really a heavy site. I don't know why it's so heavy. It's probably because of all my videos. And I'll have to update the website again to put this video on it. And we'll take a look at YouTube. YouTube playback is awesome on here. 
think it will go 1080. Like, we'll try a non-1080 video. Just because I want, wanted to include this video as a part of this video. Like, I mean, video playback isn't bad. But I'm not sure what the... Like, I mean... Hope, I hope this isn't copyright protected. But it's not that bad. Does escape work? Okay, yeah, that works. Now we'll watch a video that's 1080, which will probably be my own. We'll just try my own video, which I will mute. We'll watch my latest video, wherever it is. And I wish I could subscribe to myself, to be honest. I'd get an extra subscriber from doing that. So put it full screen. And why is it in potato quality 1080p60 and we have no buffering whatsoever? Okay, I cannot fast forward 10 seconds for some reason. Okay, now this is where it's sucking. Now it's starting to lag, but usually YouTube playback isn't bad. I mean, it's better than what my iPad has for video playback. So that's YouTube. I mean, it's it's really good for productivity too, which is what low-end devices are are usually used as. So yeah, it's obviously going to be it's obviously going to be good for good for productivity. It's usually what what cheap laptops are used for. I mean, I'll see what local media playback is like if I can even any of these songs are even on here and they're not but I'll quickly open them from files as I did copy them over and you may want to install a third-party file app I hate the file app that comes with this by default do we have any Oh wait, I'm muted. I can't play this too long, I don't want to get copyright. So, local music playback is obviously good. I mean, it takes screenshots too. You just have to hit the print screen button and it instantly works. You don't have to use the power plus volume down or anything. And Shazam works too, already tried that, but I'm not going to try it on video. What about editing a photo in Photoshop Express? Already edit my thumbnails sometimes with this. So we'll just crop this into... I'll just put it original. Okay, where's the text? Okay, yeah, it should work. Okay, there that's. I don't care if I save that. Can be a memory from this video. An alt and F4 works. Not sure if you noticed. I've been using that this whole video to close apps. If they're in full screen. Then I mean Google Maps works. But this is unfortunately going to give away my location. But I got to turn on the track. Oh wait. 
is the track no is the trackpad on because i wanted to show the some of the gestures because because gestures do work see i am zooming out from the trackpad and kind of accidentally zooming in and then you can obviously move the mouse around sad light loads almost instantly especially having a weak gpu but i cannot use the scroll wheel i'll have to either do this on the screen or use the gestures to zoom in on anything Okay, we're at about 15 minutes, so we may stop here, but first I'll just go to settings. You can actually enable super user by default. You don't actually need to go through any rooting, rooting process. Let's see, it is an outdated um, security patch, and there is a place to check for updates, but there's none available, probably because it downloaded the latest version. So, I guess this is it. So, so how do I rate this? I say if you have a cheap laptop, definitely go for Prime OS if you don't want Windows. But be sure to run it off a live USB first. As you can make sure everything works. That's what I did. But I didn't check the Bluetooth. I just made sure crucial stuff such as the keyboard, ports, touchscreen trackpad and wi-fi worked so yes i would recommend this for cheap laptops or any cheap computer it makes it run much faster i recommend your computer though having flash storage or a solid state drive just so it's fast fast still fast when you pack lots of apps into the operating system or i mean device so be sure to like and subscribe in and, and be sure to leave a comment with your thoughts. I will be leaving a link to download Prime OS in the description if you would like to download it. Oh, and be sure to use Rufus on Windows to compile a bootable USB to boot the USB. So this is it. Like and subscribe and I am out.